Hey everyone, it's Maggie May and I coming at you. We want to talk about parental estrangement or adult children in general when it comes to finances and help. <laughs> Just short, sweet, and to the point, I was raised by two parents that worked. Dad was a firefighter, mom was a nurse, and I was told at the age of 11 or 12, and you can go babysit, you know, if you will take care of your needs, you take care of your wants. So if I wanted anything, I had to work for it. I, I had babysitting jobs. I collected cans for my neighbors. I did lawn work for a neighbor across the street, etc. So I, I was, I learned very early on to make my own money. And that's just the way it was. And when I raised my daughters, um, when they were teenagers, my oldest, I told her, you got to get a job, pay for your cell phone. And then eventually you'll pay for your car insurance and etc. And my youngest um, didn't get a job in high school because she was studying to be a salutatorian or we we're trying to get valedictorian and she became a salutatorian and she got a job when she, I think senior in high school, etc. or right after. So that was my experience with work and in my own home and then raising children. But I, I see a lot of parents today who are still financially supporting their adult children. And not only that, adult children who have no respect for them. My thought is if you are physically, mentally, emotionally, etc., able to get a job, you should be working. And that's as young as, you know, even young doing chores. I don't know necessarily every child that gets paid to do chores, but if you can pay a child, a young child, a quarter, to do a chore such as picking up their toys or making their bed to the best of their ability that you know you start when they're little and then when they're teenagers you have to set up the expectation that they're going to work if they want things that you don't have to supply for them you know i mean if they want to get candy if they want to buy a toy they can work for those things so it's set it, the stage is set from very young on and I see a lot of parents who are not only allowing their adult children to live with them primarily sometimes for free, but they're allowing their adult children to bring their partners in and then so on and so forth. And this is the way I feel. If someone's going to give me money for free, I'm going to take it. It, it, it. That would just be normal for if someone had a million dollars and they said, you know, if they came across me and they said, you know, I'd like to gift you some money. If they said no strings attached, I, <laughs> I would have a hard time taking it because I always feel I would be indebted to that person. But when we raise our adult children, not to number one work, not to contribute, not to purchase things they want and not to contribute to the household, we're setting them up for failure. I am not a bank. If they were to leave, when my children left my house, they had to pay rent, they had to pay a mortgage, they had to cell phone, insurance, vehicles, and rent, etc. So I, I, I see a lot of parents saying, well, I give to my children. We're not doing them any favors when we don't set up expectations, boundaries, and let them know they have to work if they want things. I can understand if a parent has a child who is not capable of working, who may be handicapped or on state assistance. Yet, if someone's, if you're giving to someone and you don't have a contract or you don't expect anything in turn, they're not taking advantage of you. They're simply taking and you're giving. So how do you do it? You cut them off. Um, when my daughters moved out, I said, you're going to have to have your own cell phone plan. You're going to have to get your own internet insurance, etc. And that's just the way it is. So I just wanted to talk about that because I know a lot of people are frustrated or blame their adult children for using them. But in all essence, you and only you can stop the cycle. So I know it's hard. It's hard, especially when they live with you, but maybe it's time they move out on their own and kick that baby bird out of the nest. So that's all I wanted to talk about. And I hope you have a great day.